Hi guys, it's Rachel, and today is the very first full summer garden tour. Uh, technically this is week five of my garden tours, but it is the first tour that I'm doing since planting in most of the summer crops. So I am so excited to show you guys what I've been doing. Let's go take a look. Starting at the end, as we always do, we have the peas and carrots. Carrots still taking their sweet time, but still progressing. Um, and the peas have actually started producing for me. Um, very soon I think I'm gonna harvest these and uh, put them in a stir fry, probably something like that. All right, and this is the big bed that normally had all of the onions in it. You can see the onions are still there, but there's a lot more scaffolding. And if you look in between that scaffolding, you will see baby peppers and tomatoes. Now, what I've done is I've staggered the peppers and tomatoes so that I can plant them a little closer. Since I'm working with such a limited space, I wanted to make sure that I could get as many plants in here as possible. So it's tomato, pepper, tomato, pepper, and also that way going backwards. I have stakes for the tomatoes, cages for the peppers, because I'm planning to let the tomatoes grow really tall and prune them up on the bottom anywhere that they're gonna be competing with the peppers. Next to all of that, if you continue through here, I still have some radishes and some turnips. The radishes went to seed, so now I'm really just keeping them for the seeds. Um, but you can see I've interplanted my peppers and tomatoes in between all of this. So some of this stuff was pulled up just to make room and it's going to look a little crowded for just a little while while the turnips are finishing up. And right over here, still got the kale. Again, I'm planning on keeping the kale pretty small like this because I want to harvest all the little baby leaves and it'll it'll get too warm for the kale pretty soon anyway so i'm just gonna keep harvesting my baby kale leaves as long as i can over here on the trellis i've got my pole beans they're starting to take off nicely um, and then behind the pole beans there, I have Malabar spinach. Um, and it is only just now starting to sprout. Uh, you can kind of see it there. But basically Malabar spinach is going to be like a vining spinach. I've been told that it's not a true spinach, it's just a spinach-like vine. But it should be really pretty on this trellis. On the other side I have the other beans. My greenhouse looking pretty empty because I planted out most everything. And behind me, got the garlic and onions. These are still looking really, really good. Um, they're a little more bent over than they were because of the storm that we had, but all in all looking really, really nice. Um, it'll be like this for, I don't know, maybe another month or two before I can harvest anything out of it. Garlic takes a while, but it looks like it's going to be worth it. If you haven't seen, I still have this extra tree poking into my backyard. Nobody's come by to clean up at all, so I'm just existing with this tree over my head. Draco, what you doing up there? What are you possibly eating out of the broken gutter? All right guys, so in the yard, we've got the potatoes. I was a little worried about these after the storm because a good half of most of the foliage flopped over. And you can see the best on this one right here. I had to unroll the bag to kind of help support the foliage back up. But all in all, it looks healthy. You know, there's only a couple of branches that were actually broken 
that wilted and fell off. So I think the potatoes are going to be okay. I've got all of my herbs right here. The parsley, the cilantro, oregano, dill, thyme. There's some spinach right in there. Uh, catnip for the cat. I've got my two tomato plants that I did surgery on that actually seem to be recovering. So that's exciting. Over here you'll see a lot of new pots. Um, these are all of the hot peppers that I planted out. So in the back bed was sweet peppers and this is hot peppers here. Um, each of these has their own little container and the cups are in there because I have not made them all their own nice labels yet so I left their labeled cups in the containers so I remember which is which. Next to these I have my tomatillos. Tomatillos are actually starting to put on little buds so that's exciting. I have never grown tomatillos before. I really have no idea what to expect. If them budding this small is a bad thing or if that means that they're just really healthy. I don't know if they'll flush the same way that peppers might. But we'll see. Back behind are my bush beans. Um, and you can see I started mulching them and then I realized that not all of them had come up. You can see this little one trying to come up. So I decided to wait on mulching the other four containers. And right, right in front of me here, this is another um, spinach. This is going to be New Zealand spinach. It's one of the ones that's supposed to handle the heat really well. And again, I've planted it pretty densely because I like to take the baby leaves. Last but not least, we're gonna visit the back corner. Hopefully y'all can hear me over that AC unit that just kicked on. But here is my pumpkin. And back behind my pumpkin, I have one, two cucumbers and a third cucumber poking up right there. Uh, not as many cucumbers as I thought would come up, so I think I'm gonna have to reseed some of my varieties, um, especially the ones that I wanted to grow up the fence over there. Um, but I'm just excited that this little plot of dirt that I'm putting together is working out. That is the full garden tour, week five, uh, week one of summer. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the garden. I'm really, really excited to start showing you guys everything when the spring stuff actually comes out and you can see the summer stuff starting to grow up. I think that'll be really exciting. As always, I will be back here next week with another garden tour. And uh, in the meantime, I'm working on some other videos for you guys. Um, so get excited. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does help me out and I, really enjoy the community that we're building here on my channel. I think you're really going to enjoy the community if you stick around. And until next time, all of you, I wish you happy gardening.